Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Indiethon Summer 2023. I am Quacksilver, picking up the host mic for a horror block today. Mm. Obviously, I am three geese in a trench coat at all times, but today it is out of fright. I am delighted to introduce our next runner, Cat in a Jacket, who's going to be running an true ending. Cat, take it away. Hello, my name is Cat in a Jacket. Uh, you can also call me Katina Jacket. Or as uh, some people decide to make fun of me for. Uh, this is Anne. This is an indie game by the developer Ron Ron. Uh, you might have seen some of his stuff on YouTube. Uh, pretty popular kind of guy. But he decided to make a game one day, and here we are. Um, this is an indie RPG maker horror game. So if you're already kind of familiar with, th with games like um, Witch's House or Ib, uh, or any of those other really popular ones... Um, then you should probably already kind of understand the movement of this game and whatnot, but it's actually kind of interesting in some places. But without further ado, we are going to start. Uh, time starts whenever I click go, and it ends whenever the word and at the very end uh, in the cutscene appears. So I'm ready whenever you are. You have countdown going? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So the first thing about this game that we have to understand is that holding down, there's four buttons in this game. There is Z, X, and on all the arrow keys. So that makes six, actually. <laughs> uh, if you notice the street sign, it's called Wrong Street. So that's the name of the developer. So if I hold down Z, things move faster. Um, that's the first thing to know. Uh, and Z can be interrupted with any movement. Um, but you can always hold down Z. So that's a little confusing. So what I'm going to be doing at the very beginning is I'm going to hold down Z... Uh, hold down right and then hold Z. That, that that way the movement doesn't interrupt the Z input. That helps me get through all these different cutscenes and stuff like that. Fun fact, that guy can be in my way. S small, uh, musical time loss, but you know. So a lot of times whenever I'm buffering Z inputs, um, I'm going to do them mostly through cutscenes or different spots where I actually can't press anything. Uh, if you're familiar with this game, it's going to be very similar to another game called Tokyo Dark. Uh, if you ever played that game. So we have normal gameplay uh, with cutscenes coming in there periodically. So the beginning of this game is we fall asleep at the school on the fifth floor of the digital department. The school is split into five different departments. As you'll learn, all those departments are very uh, reflected back to the story. So like I said, through the cutscene, I'm going to hold down, then hold Z. Because if I hold Z then hold down, the Z input gets taken away. So we're going to buffer down and then hold Z. And that'll make our cutscene go faster. Fun fact, if you click on that clock up there, that would be the fastest way to get to death percent. It's a different fun little category. So I'm going to hold right, hold Z. Hold left, hold Z. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So our little ghost friend's going to pop up here. And if you notice, there's a little jerk in the screen. That's us moving faster. Because we're, we're making the world move faster because the game has some sort of action. Alright, so this is the piano department. Or music department, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this, uh, whoop. this chapter is categorized by movement. There's not many tricky things, but it's just about knowing where to go and making sure you nail every single Z input and movement. So normally through pianos you can't walk through the top of them like that. They're usually two blocks high instead of one block high. It's a fun thing to note there. So I've already kind of messed up movement there. Uh, this is an invisible wall room as you can kind of tell. But we can actually move one step a little too soon. And that saves literally everything here saves about a third of a second. So you just need to make sure you know where you're going. Make sure you minimize the movement as much as possible. A little bit of history on the game while we're sort of going through here. Uh, it was just me and another guy playing this game for a while. And then there was a new guy that came through, and he's really good. So he's helped uh, push the category down a lot more, so shout out to him. Uh, but what's really funny is, on his first world record... He uh, referenced a tutorial that I made for the game. So uh, 
I was like, what? He used my tutorial to beat me? Well, I guess that's kind of what I made it for. So. Yeah, that's got to be a good feeling. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> oh, like yeah, we are okay, I guess. So this is Mira. She is the ghost of this department. You'll also notice we're playing on the Japanese version, but there's a lot of instances where um, there's English text. That's just because whenever Ron made this game, he made two different versions, but mostly had the English in mind. That leads to two specific instances where the games are, where the two versions are different. Um, there's an English version and a Japanese version. Uh, I'll make sure to note those differences when they come up. So we can also move with the mouse, and it's only faster in two spots, here and in Chapter 2. So we're going to appear in the middle of this room, no matter what. Okay, so I'm going to hold Z on the door. It's going to make this whole, like, scripted scene move faster. It's very fast, so you need to make sure that you're understanding where you're going and what's happening at all times. So if I had to guess, we're right around five minutes. I usually do this section at about four, four fifty-five, somewhere around there. Pretty spot on. So this is security. He's going to be our buddy throughout the rest of this game. He is a security guard that uh, got trapped in here with us as well. And then we move on to the puzzle section of the game. Uh, whenever I first started playing this game, we didn't really have a good established understanding of Z, but um, there's just a lot of rigorous testing and stuff like that. We were able to figure out a lot of stuff. Figured I might as well just show off something that we can do. There's a lot of spooks in this game. I'll just show off the fast ones. <laughs> Ooh, didn't expect that one. And the ghost come through. When I go down the middle here, there's only certain instances in the game where going through floors like that matter. So you can hold Z while pushing these, and it's actually faster as well. Because we can have really slow movement, or we can have really fast movement. So when I say Z controls everything, it controls literally everything. So we're coming up on another section where holding Z, uh, where the mouse is used to move faster. So I just click up there, and we can just go all the way back. So like I said before, going through this zone matters, so I'm going to move a little bit left here, and then go through it. Go to 1, 6, 4. That's my school password, by the way. Don't hack my account. So I didn't buffer down, but I'm, I'm wanting to maintain that I get to that cutscene as soon as possible. So I'm maintaining the Z hold input. These guys are a little random. We got uh, good RNG there. Ooh, please go away. <laughs> yeah, so Japanese only. If you talk to this guy from the, the top, you have to do a different kind of skip here. Um, but the bottom version is faster. It doesn't happen on English, and English will always move you to the right instead of up. So that's one of the that's one of the two differences. This is failure. This is the first chase of the game. So I'm gonna hold right and then buffer Z to get to this menu as fast as possible. We're gonna do the loop skip. Boom, done. Normally we'd have to go all the way around that middle room, but since we do that, we don't have to. So this is the very interesting instance where we could hold Z to push these faster, but uh, failure actually moves really fast, so you have to be very careful about it. All right, next section. We're going to have to push some boxes, right? The game wants... Oh, look at these boxes. got to move these boxes. Guess what? That's slow. I don't want to do that. Can't make me do that, so we're just going to skip them. All right, again, we're just going to go really fast. Oh, no, he's going to get me. Uh, that's low. All right. <laughs> All right. Now for the next cutscene. So uh, I'm already buffering down and Z, so we're going to be able to get these cutscenes fast. And the next input I need after the cutscene is already down. So it helps me uh, move perfectly after the cutscene's over. Just having a good nap. You know, she's EP and eats sleepy. Truly, that is the real horror of our 
What, when you're EP and EP to sleepy? Exactly. All right, here we are in the fashion department. That's a weird mannequin. That's a weird mannequin. Don't blink. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta find some clothes. Because we are not fly enough. Can I get an amen? Glasses and the sweatshirt just don't do it nowadays. Hello? But of course these aren't just any clothes. The clothes are this coat's best friends. So there's definitely, there's two ways to move here. So if we talk to him from down, we move down. And that's slow. So we want to talk to him from the left generally. Oh boy. Uh. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry for yelling. <laughs> you never know. These. So this is the fashion department. It's mimicked by a lot of uh, technical movement. And um, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily call them 50-50s, but... Eh. You have to really take risks to move, be able to move through here, uh, ultimately. So it's very common to get hit. Normally in, uh, in a world record run, we have to just kind of YOLO through that. That's a, that's a term we hadn't said in a long time, if you know what you mean. But um, typical speedrunner talk, I mean, we just kind of go for it. The world record's pretty frame tight, I'd say. You have to go for er literally everything. Even things like safety saves just don't cut it anymore. Yeah, progress marches on in speedrunning. <laughs> pretty much. Ah, dang. I messed up. So if you go uh, fast enough, you don't have to wait for that. Alright, this is my first time being able to say this. I need some serious time. <laughs> oh! Alright, we did it. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Never any doubt. Uh, that makes one of us. <laughs> All this stuff is uh, based on cycles that um, are easily predictable. You just have to play it the same way every time. Easy, right? Gonna go down, up. Oh, that was so. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, that was dumb. I should not have done that. Ooh, save the frames. Uh. Oh my gosh. Again, really risky. Oh boy. All right. So coming up is the first safety save I'm gonna use, because these guys down here are the most random part of the entire game. So we just do that just in case. Ooh. They're like heat-seeking missiles, and they're both down here. All right. Uh, okay, we're good. That part's really dangerous. Even if, even like me and the you know top, even the top two guys, um, me and the other guy, haha. -ha, um, we still have a lot of problems with that room. It it literally decides runs 13, 14 minutes in. Yeah, that's just far enough into runs to be real uncomfy to reset. It's, <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> Hey, so is the life. I'm always yelling at uh, security to just hurry up through here. Come on! Go! Go! You know. Oh, and these uh, these chapter 4, and then it reads the department. We can actually speed that up, too, by holding Z. Fun fact. Everything is speed up with Z. So you're literally always holding down one button, at least. So I'm in sort of a small predicament. If this were work with this were world record, I'd say it's a predicament because I'm not holding left, so I'm not gonna be able to move out of this cutscene perfectly. All right, so this department is mirrored by not technical movement, but straight RNG, because all these little guys here, these funny little guys, can interrupt me and or run into me. So I'm looking for this mannequin to, the, to the, my right, to my left. Sorry, um, cat VTuber. Don't expect me to know how to read. Um, oh my god! Mm. And this bishop is really annoying, so we're just gonna tag him right quick. Um, so that mannequin's really 
dastardly. He looks like he's in a bad position. So we just gotta hope he doesn't move to the right. So the, that bishop and that mannequin should be fine. TV looks bad. So some of them have more text boxes than others. We're gonna have a time section. So we wanna make sure that we don't talk to any of these things after we press this button. Yeah, the mannequin's in a bad spot. Ooh, don't hit me. Okay, cool. Hello? Security's kind of, uh, kind of really cool. Kind of a marathon safe for Earth. Really cool. Uh, Anyway, um, uh, so we're just gonna run through literally all these guys. Uh, so I'm looking mainly at these mannequins here. One of them has a text box, the other one doesn't. I did just see that the piano is in the way. Uh, it might be a problem. I don't know. It's move. It is. Now the TV's in the way. Oh, we made it! Oh my gosh! Woo! Holding Z. Holding Z. I love my mom and dad. Um, so Anne is actually an art student. She is in the digital art department. Um... Which is kind of funny for one of the endings, but we won't talk about that right now. Um, we're about halfway through the marathon, or my run. You told me to give you a heads up. So where are we at with the donation goal? Yeah, well, I'd love to just remind the, the folks that we do have an open incentive right now for uh, the secret dev ending of this very run. Um, we also have some uh, bid wars open for later in the day, but if you are in a given mood, we are uh, still looking uh, about 75 bucks away from the dev ending, um, but any donation to the Samaritans is supporting an amazing cause, uh, supporting suicide prevention, and we really appreciate it. I don't have to talk to that, but I just think it's funny. Good for an extra little goof. The 100% uh, the category for this is to actually um, reach every, you know, well, there's 100% and then there's all all achievements, I think you, you could call it. Um, and all achievements is finding all the spooks. So here we have a... cruel to make an achievement for actively seeking them out. Yeah, so it's kind of funny that 100% is all achievements, but it's not all endings. Small, small community. This is what happens. So as with every horror game, there has to be some sort of uh, dark, tragic backstory. Um, so he's going to lightly pat her on the head. He's going to lightly pat her on the head. She's being lightly patted on the head. Don't worry about what that says. <laughs> She seemed really cold, and so she needed to be in a small room. Um, so, <laughs> the next thing for Japanese only is this um, is this section coming up. So, the main enemy of the game is called Hannah. Hannah does these roars, um, and for Japanese... So, to, to clarify, English and Japanese have the exact same text speed everywhere, except when the text scrolls very slowly. And uh, But that only is affected... During Hannah's roars. Don't ask me why. It's weird. Um, so here is the first time save that Japanese gets. And what's really funny about that is my, uh, one of my friends who sh should be in chat actually told me before the run. He said, that's literally just a vowel. Like, that's not even anything that should be faster. Um, English is literally just raw. I think it's wa ah 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 um, <laughs> So I don't know why it's faster, but it's actually it at so the total number of roars that we get in the game that matter is three, and that's one of them, and it saves up to about seven seconds over the course of the run. Wow, that long! 
yeah, it's it's pretty significant. And I ran. You you can tell I, I understand this because I timed them all um, compared to one another because I ran English only to begin with. He says, "What? Are you ready for this next final battle? Chapter five. Psh, I forget what this one's called. Don't buffering right holding Z. There's a much a small." Sort of interactions you get with um, Hannah here, so we're just gonna hold, hold Z while going through some of these places, and it makes these little texts and stops about as fast as possible. All right, now for what could you can kind of call it the final boss fight um, of the game is the Hannah chase, which is the biggest chase in the game. Uh, the first three rooms are nothing of really consequence. Um, it's the fourth rune that matters the most. As long as you have perfect movement, you can run straight down the middle of the final mannequin. Otherwise, it's too fast, and hand is too fast uh, to really make any adjustments. So you need to really be sure about what you're getting. And this is another one of the roars that um, cuts down time save. It makes it makes it time save. Fun fact, even if uh, Hannah catches up to you, you move the exact same speed as her. So even if she's like right on your tail, she can't actually kill you. Don't ask me what these blood stains do. Uh, it, it, it's not, not important. And I, I don't want to show you. Alright, here's the room. So I gotta be perfect through here. Or else I'm gonna have to kind of guess. Should be good. Cool. All right, now one of the instances, another one of these instances of where I'm holding Z, and the small interactions that the world has, this floor cracking, is making me go faster. So I drop the key to the exit. He's like, "What's going on?" And here we are. Right, I'm just gonna casually step on its legs. Don't mind me. He's dead. We don't have to worry about him no more. That means less tax boxes. So that's pretty good. Fun fact about this uh, heart heartbeat. It's an audio file and it doesn't loop perfectly. So <laughs> you can sometimes hear it. But we go fast. We're not going to be able to hear it. This is a great game, by the way. If you ever feel like uh, picking up a, a fun, easy kind of game to kind of get a time on, definitely go for it. Definitely appreciate to have more eyes and ears out. So this is the traditional art department. And there's a painting called Security. That's a little weird. Isn't our friend named Security? Wait, that's his actual name? He's actually a ghost, too. Hmm. Huh. That's the big reveal of the game. Is that, <laughs> the uh... The is really smoothing over the horror here. I love it. <laughs> so here we go. More box pushing. So you can actually skip some of these boxes. But it's a bit glitched. So we're just going to be a little slow here. I'm going to skip that one. because Pushing boxes is slow. You have to hit that box. The other ones, you don't really have to hit. Alright, hold Z so we can push these fast. But this is actually a very uh, finicky part. So by the end of the push, I kind of want to let go of Z. Because he actually moves faster than we move with Z held. So I want to make sure that uh, I don't screw up. So when he kills these things, you actually move faster too by holding Z. More, more to the point, it's a chance to move faster. Like this four crack, watch. Yeah, didn't get it that time. So there's actually a, a really funny uh, situation here. So I said I was talking about auto saves earlier. This game has an auto save feature. That whenever you walk through any uh, screen transition, you uh, the game automatically auto saves. 
So when you get caught, it tells you, it gives you an option of yes or no if you want to continue or go back to the main menu. The autosave will also save on that screen as well. So you end up getting soft locked out of um, out of an autosave. It's not a glitch, it's just something if you didn't save properly. All right, so we are now heading into the final two rooms of the game. This is probably the most technical room. There's two ways to exit this room. We're gonna choose the safe way because the other way could literally have me sitting here for like five minutes. Um, <laughs> it's just how it is. Uh, we're, we could go for it. There's a there's a skip that we can do. Um, piano skip. Eh, why not? We can go for it. Yeah, active. I believe. I believe. Me too. Me too. Oh, the TV! Alright, so if, as long as I'm perfect through here... Oh, we got it! Cool! Uh, nice! Uh, so we gotta watch out for this TV and this pond. This TV is... Murder! Uh, they kinda respond to how you move. Uh, this guy's fast. You! You! You guy! Okay, well, here he comes. Um... Oh, look at him push him. Get over there. <laughs> Get over here. Come on. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is actually really bad. Okay, good. Uh... Cool. All right. So we can, we can go through that top route there, but as you can see, it's really difficult. Okay, now we're going to have some more buffered strats. Uh, there's some pianos that have text boxes. We want to avoid those pianos like the plague. Oh, gosh. Oops. Uh, but some of them, as you saw there, don't. As long... Okay, cool. Let's see if we can avoid this. Nope, we didn't. <laughs> Come straight at me. Okay, he didn't go left. That one also has a... Uh... Nah, screw it. Come here. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. All right, now now we've mostly just got um, cutscenes and stuff like that going through here. Get to enjoy this baller song. Nice. So the plan is we need to get the principal back in here. So what do we do? Let's just call his cell phone in the middle of hell. Let's just call his cell phone. Why couldn't they just prove that it doesn't work? Yeah, yeah. It kind of makes you wonder. Well, couldn't all the court party games, you know, the endings and stuff like that, been avoided if they could just call somebody? You know, <laughs> it would have probably helped a little bit. All right, so we're coming up on the last part for the dev ending. Uh, do we have our goal met? one more time but I think we are going to save that as an incentive for people to go out and play this game themselves yeah cool um, so the dev ending is not written anywhere but it was sort of figured out by the community Ooh. if you if you talk to all four people in the next room where we're where we can move and then talk to every potted plant ten times exactly ten times uh, you will unlock a secret deleted ending so go on out and 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 play you some video game. Play you some can, indie games. Yeah, play your indie games. Support developers. They make some great games. And here, you know, this is a very modern game. Would you get one of these? By the way, I actually have a split for this, which is kind of funny. He goes, "Dang, I'm just gonna forget you." Well, maybe I should. Maybe we should um, do something about that. Oh, I love these two. She pulls out her phone. Takes a fucking, takes the selfie. I always just think that's really funny. We're probably at like 30, 31 minutes, I think, something like that. I had to take a guess. 
you are selling yourself short a little bit there. Oh, really? We're ahead. Um, so this game's world record is under 29, under 30 minutes. I honestly thought for a long time that it wouldn't happen, but I, just one day I just ended up doing it. Um, and now the world record is under 20, 29, 29 minutes. It seemed like a far and away dream for a long time, but hey, if they combine uh, efforts of people in glitch finders. Well, glitch finders, what am I saying? There's no glitch in this game yet. Ha ha. Um, <laughs> but you never know. One day, somebody. The principal is missing. Who is this girl in this locker? And Anne just going to work several months later or something like that. Buffer down, hold Z. And then hold Z one more time. Who is that? That's weird. <laughs> if you remember, his painting was above this, in the room above this. So it's just kind of a little silly. He's like, what? I know this guy. He's my friend. I just get uh, call me call me a nerd, but I get chills whenever I see this scene every time. He's just happy. Like he knew he did a good job. Cutscenes in this game are amazing. He was a ghost. He was a ghost this whole time. Yet uh end time, by the way. Alright, GG. <laughs> yeah, GG. Woo! Uh, I'm gonna wait for our Uh, 32 12 yeah it's already it's already passed 30, 30, 30, 22 wow so yeah very very good run wow <laughs> jeez um, yeah very nice showcase and and thank you for making the horror palatable to it <laughs> viewer such as myself. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell people where to find you, plug your community, your indie games, uh, let them know. Alright, so my name is Cat in a Jacket, spelled exactly as it's seen on the screen. Um, I stream over at twitch.tv, um, YouTube, Twitter, all that all that good stuff. Uh, the end guys are really cool, Gate. Um, was the pioneer of everything, so definitely shout out to him, uh, everybody on YouTube. If you want to learn this game, there's a, an hour long tutorial where I go over literally everything I've ever found, uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, so it's really easy to pick up and learn. It's not a hard game. Definitely a fun thing to kind of just throw together one day. Um, but yeah, you all are wonderful, amazing people, and thank you for being here this afternoon. Go ahead and support uh, the charity and the people that, uh, come after me. I'm just one part and a major, uh, cog of a little bit, but of <clears throat> have a little bit of a machine. So thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. I'll see you on the next one. So thank you so much, Cat in the Jacket. And yes, I could not ask for a better throw. We are, of course, raising money for the Samaritans. They are a United Kingdom-based suicide prevention charity with a free-to-call helpline for those in crisis. The Samaritans deal with 10,000 calls a day, and every call they answer could change a life forever. Speaking of changing lives forever, but in perhaps a different direction, our horror block will continue with some Madison right after this brief intermission. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>